There you go, some more architecture. The children. Children in here seem to love chasing pigeons. I've noticed that. That's not right. Not particularly a very nice thing to do, they with pigeons. And I'm going to go down here. You can see lovely little town. Lots of interesting buildings. And the screen on the back is just blank, but a little light is still flashing, so I imagine you're still getting this. But, uh, well, I don't know if you can... It means that I can't actually see what it's filming. So I'm just making a kind of guess. Right, so you can see this more. I'm just waiting for this man to finish taking his, his photograph here. And then I can um, I'll just come around and just talk to you for a bit. I'm just waiting for this man to stop, stop taking his photograph and then I'll just move on. This is how he obviously. Right, he's done it now. Right, I don't know why people take ages composing photographs. It's just a photo. If it doesn't work, you take, you take three or four and then edit them out. But anyway, here's what he was photographing is this particularly nice street. Oh, as you can see some of these buildings. Yeah, and this is why I like coming to places like this on my holidays. I could spend the entire day just walking about places like this, looking at things. Is any? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's down here. I'll just walk down to the bottom of this bit, then I'll probably finish this bit. It's got a nice house or building there. <laughs> It's Sunday, so not much is open. And yeah, and we're just getting down to the bottom of the street here. It's street after street that look like this. It's an absolutely amazing place. As I say, it's Sunday, so most of the shops are shut. I don't know if they'll open in the afternoon. I'm not, I'm not sure what they do here. But at the moment, most of them are shut. I've got I don't know where that woman was tooting her. Not that my man, obviously, because he's on the left hand side, tooting his horn. It's strange, when you're driving, you get so used to driving on the right, it doesn't become a problem. But sometimes you'll see a car and you'll forget the driver sits on the other side. Right, I'm just coming out into the square here. There's more of this. I think I'll just turn this back and finish off this bit of the camera. Pretending I'm Alan Wicker or somebody. Right, um, okay, so that's some more of the centre of Dijon. There is tons like this. Also, this is a, seems to be, there's the forthcoming elections here. And that's obviously one of the candidates. But I've been stopped three times this morning by people campaigning in their election. And every single one of them is for the party of President Macron. So certainly they're getting people out. And it's noticeable how young the campaigners are, so there you go. You hear the comment on politics as they'll ever get from me. Okay, I'm just going to come up to the end here. You can see it's another suitably well preserved old building over there. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll just stop this bit here and I'll film another bit when I get to somewhere interesting. Okay. Okay, next segment from me here in Dijon. I'm just at South Side, some another interesting part of the city. If you have a look around that building up wrapped up ahead with the metamorphosis met metamorphosis on it. Um, that's the Museum of Fine Art which is obviously been refurbished. I think that's the theatre next to it. If you come down this street there's what I assume is a church. Oh, a pretty impressive building. But what I'd actually stopped here for, well, that's another thing while I'm here. This, I take it from the Gallo Roman era, this is the limit of the ca Castrum, Lat the Latin at school, the castle, or like camp. So I take it this was from the limit of when it was a Roman or Gallo Roman settlement. Anyway, the thing I'd actually came to see is walking past the Musée Rude. I have no idea, it's a beautiful valley, I don't know if you can see that, if that's clear enough. I've, it seems to be free, <laughs> it's over. There seems to be wonderful sculpture in here. I hope there's enough light for you to see this. It's an absolutely huge piece of sculpture. 
Yeah, I'll we'll just take my camera's view to squint there and just square that up. But uh, I also saw just down here, I think this is, if they thought this is nice enough, <coughs> just opposite this building here, which I imagine is a church, or was a church. Most of the churches here are now theatres, I've noticed, or museums. I saw this lovely building, I just want you to not get run over. Um, look at that there. I think that is actually someone's house, I would imagine, possibly. Um, well, what I quite like, if you look here, you can see this building here, which assumes a former church as well. If I just come over onto this bit. You can see the standard buttresses on the side of it there. And then that seems to be made into a bit of the old church. But these houses have been built into the buttresses of the old church. Or cathedral, or whatever it was. This is unusual. But again, I've come to this little square. Oh, it seems welcome to our church. It is actually still a church. But even though it's Sunday, the doors are shut, so I don't know. So, I think this is still going. Yeah, I can still see a small flashing light. It's a bit irritating, this camera, because it's got a very small light on the back that flashes to tell you that it's filming. But it... Um, in sunlight, it's almost impossible to see. And after a, about a minute, the... The, the rear screen blank, so you don't know if it's still filming or not. So on the front it's got a flashing light and I can see that quite clearly. But uh, again, look at some really impressive buildings around here. I'm just going to see... No, it's not. You can see there's a flashing pharmacy sign, the Green Cross there. Quite often they alternate every so often they go on a cycle and it'll show the time and the temperature. I'm just going to stop, to, I'm just waiting for that to actually change to something else. No, I think it's just a pattern changing. They quite often display the temperature and the time. An hour or two ago it was 28 degrees, but I think it's got hotter than that since then, certainly. Um, I reckon it's going to be about 36 or something today. Well, these, I don't know if these people actually managed to get in. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. But uh, I wonder it here. And I just noticed this house here's got a thing about a guy who was a, a sculptor. A sculptor. Not sculpture. He made sculptures, but he himself wasn't one. Unless he made a sculpture of him later. Yeah, this seems to be a big church of some sort. And uh, it actually seems still to be a working church. So, because I think it was its bells that were going, but I'm not sure. If, it's very strange. I don't know much about churches. So I don't know when you open or close and things like that. I hope I look a bit better than I did. I was looking at the videos last night. I couldn't really view them in my ancient netbook of when I was at the Coop Motor Legend. And I was looking a bit, well, hot and sweaty and warm out and a bit. I didn't feel, I felt okay. It was just really, really hot. But, um, yeah. No, I, don't, I think it must be Saint Michel. That's Place Saint Michel. Again, yeah, like a beautiful workmanship that went into that. I don't know if you can see the top of that pillar or buttress or whatever that is up there. It looks like frogs crawling up the roof. Ah, then why not? I saw actually at the Coop Motor Legend, just living up to national stereotypes, there actually was a stall selling cooked snails. Something I have never eaten and never will. 